Hey guys, this is Richard from Reese.com and Efficient Auto Channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And for this video, we'll be showcasing one of the most exciting products that I came across in 2025, which is ATI's Stratton Pro 2s. All right guys, like I said earlier in the video, we'll be covering ATI's Stratton Pro 2s, and I'm very excited to cover this product for you guys because we had our hands on the first one and we were very impressed with what they were offering. And the second one is a no slouch either. We first saw these units in person in Revo Palooza Orlando 2025, and I was very impressed with overall build quality on this machine, as well as all the specifications, coverage, and the spread and I had to get my hands on one to test out for you guys and release what I find out. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna get my box, I'm gonna unbox it for you guys and give you guys my first impression, what I think of the light, and then I'm gonna set one up. And what we'll do after is measure all the parts as well as the spectrum to see where we stand in real tank settings. Now that we have the units here, let's go ahead and unbox this unit. All right guys, so I have the unit right over here. This is their gray model. This is 153, which is a middle sized unit. They have 102, 153, and 204. And I, like I said before, this is the mid sized unit. I'm gonna open the box and show you guys what's inside. All right, they have this instruction booklet here that shows how to set this unit up. And, wow, this is really beefy. Okay guys, so the second thing in the box is this power driver and it is Meanwell and I like this a lot because this one is expensive but it's nice and reliable drivers and I think almost all premium lights like these, they should use Meanwell driver. They shouldn't use cheap no-name ones which can short out in time and it's just not a good look overall. So I like the fact that they went with Meanwell driver. And this is the power cord that comes with it. Standard hanging kit. And, ooh, the light itself. All right. This thing got a little heft to it, but look how thin this light is. Extremely thin, furniture grade. All right, this thing looks amazing. Maybe half inch. I'll have to measure that to be sure. Yeah, but this thing is nice and sleek. There's not much inside the box besides these. One thing that I learned from the first unit is that they don't have a multiple like aluminum and then placing it up together. They have actually just one block of aluminum and they use CNC machine and they route everything out in the machine to precision. So everything is just one, there's minimum loss of light within the light itself. So this is actually highly efficient LED fixture, which I am very pleased with. Honestly, if I put it next to the first one, I can't really tell the difference just from the looking at it like this. Now, one thing is that this is a pros and cons on both. This is actually a very, very thick wire which I don't mind at all, to be honest, because I could conceal this. And I like the fact that they shield these type of power cables in a much thicker wire because they're much, much more durable. One thing, however, that could be better is that if this could be a different color, because this wire is mixture color of white and silver. For a lot of people, this will be harder to conceal. Maybe offering in a darker color, I think that may be a better option for a lot of other people. But so far, everything looks pretty good. All right, guys, now we got the unboxing out of the way. Let's get into the difference between the first unit and the second unit. The first obvious difference is when you turn on the machine, you will notice the spectrum difference. So what they did was they increased the royal blue, which is 450 nanometers, and the blue, which is 470 nanometers, by replacing some of the violet, cyan, and white LEDs. ATI has told me that, that they did this to boost the PAR and to enhance the coral coloration and to better the growth. And ATI North America and ATI Germany has told me that as all the small changes that they made with the second version compared to the first one, they have improved efficiency and PAR output by five to 10%. All right guys, and now this for me is the biggest update of this light. This fixture removed the old lens slash diffusers and each LED now features its own CNC machined reflector 
Treating the individual LED diodes like miniature metal halides offering even better spread while eliminating the blotchiness and maximizing that shimmer that LED and metal halide people love. Now, what do you guys think about that final update? For me, that was the most important feature that they upgraded. And I don't think it's been talked about enough. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this unit to my buddy Shane Lefaniers of 24-7 Aquariums, and I'm going to test for all the PAR as well as the spectrum to see what this light truly offers in a real tank setting. Let's go, guys. All right, now that we are at 24-7 Aquariums headquarters, visiting my friend Shane to test the par and the spread of the light as well as the spectrum of overall light using Apogee MQ510 as well as my ParWise device. And this is a tank that I'll be using to test everything that we need and these are its dimensions. Now, first of all, this is a par of everything running it with all their channels running at 100%. And this is the overall spectrum of the light with all the channels running at 100% as well. Overall, this is an excellent light that is powerful, energy efficient, and good innovation and engineering behind it. In short, I love the overall look of the light. It's furniture grade, sleek look, gets compliments from me. I also love the passive cooling as it removes one point of failure in fans. I also love the spread of this light and I absolutely love that they remove the plastic lens diffusers in favor of individual reflectors using aluminum housing for the diodes. Now these units can be found in the local fish stores that carries ATI products and many of the popular online vendors like BRS, saltwateraquarium.com and many, many more. Overall build quality feels absolute premium. I had my friend Tim from Coral Exotic tell me that these are the Bugattis of reef lighting and I'm starting to think that there are some truth behind these words. All right guys, that's it for me today. I hope you liked the video and found the video informational. If you guys are in the market for a brand new LED fixture, please give a look at ATI Stratton Pro 2. They are an excellent light and they check many boxes and depending on your application, this could be the light for you guys. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video again. You guys have a great one and I'll catch you on the next one.